Hey everybody, Derek from Mac Gaming here in the flesh once again. Um, I'm so excited about emulation for Dreamcast. I'm re revisiting so many good old classics. I decided to comment my own footage. That's how it's. Now today I bring Soldier of Fortune. This game was released around the year 2000, depending on which console and which area you were living in. But yeah, basically year 2000, 2001 for Europe, for Europe and so on. Um, it was released for Windows, Linux, the Dreamcast, and the PlayStation 2. Now I, I rented this game back in the day in Blockbuster. Just, I rented this next to Conflict Desert Storm back in the day and it was late Sunday and I wasn't able to really play this much. So I didn't remember how packed with detail this game. I do, we do have to remember that back in the day we played at a resolution of uh, 480p or actually 576p here in Europe on those PAL TVs running at 50 hertz, right? But um, but yeah, this game is it, it, it has so much detail. I didn't even remember. Look at the guy peeing here. Like I just ripped his arm off. The other guy, I just shot him in the stomach. His his guts just started pouring out. There's so much detail. Like I didn't remember. Everything, like even the physics, look at this. In, in a minute here, I'm gonna blast through a door and, and it's just like the door's gonna, it's gonna blow into pieces and it, look at the blood stain on the floor there. Yeah, it's really packed with details. So um, it's so nice to see a game that has aged so well, like, at least in my opinion. Like, this is running at a resolution near the 4K. It does have to maintain that 4.3 aspect ratio, right? But yeah, this is like 4K and it's kind of brutal because the uh, M1 Mac is running this without even breaking a sweat. So, you know, this game's also PlayStation 2. I, I wouldn't even try it on PlayStation 2. We have a harder time trying to emulate games on PlayStation 2, but this is here on the Dreamcast. And I don't know, it, it, I think it, it has the same size as on PlayStation 2, around 700 to 800 megabytes. But yeah, just look at the details. You shoot a guy in the knee, and he'll start complaining about the pain in his knee until he eventually either falls on the ground or just gets up and keeps on shooting you. Here, for example, just look, look at the guy. Yeah, he's complaining about his knee, right? So I'm just gonna, sh I just shot his head and his head blew right off. You know, it's, it's brutal. All these details, like I didn't remember how much. This is Quake 2 engine. Like I remember back in the year 2000, playing Half-Life and stuff like that. They had, you know, it was okay, but you would shoot people and you know, their arms wouldn't fall off or you wouldn't blast off someone's head. And it wasn't as, gore as this game is right but yeah look just and and seeing everything at 4k resolution look at the textures look at how all the geometry is rendered there's no need for texture filtering here or anything at all because you know we've upscaled it so much that everything looks nice like this is a 20 almost a 22 year old game look at it i i think it's aged quite well so yeah, like revisiting these games on the Dreamcast. I've tested so many games these days. I don't even know what to upload because I, I love them all. So I'll be uploading every day. I'm going to try to upload at least one video for Dreamcast. And the thing is that I'm also trying to upload games for PlayStation. But um, I'm I'm more excited for Dreamcast rather than PlayStation. Maybe it's because PlayStation is you know it's more, it's more of a recent console than uh, the Dreamcast. Like just revisiting these classics. Like today I tried Grand Theft Auto 2. I also tried, um, give me a second here, I'll check it out. What else did I try for Dreamcast? I tried uh, Tony Hawk. I also tried uh, Virtual Fighter, Sega Rally, Mortal Kombat. You know, I tried so many games. They're all so much fun because you're emulating them at almost 4K resolutions. Like, wow. I, yeah, of course you didn't remember games like this back in the day. <laughs> games at 480p or 576p. Like, they look like crap. If you look at it now on a 4K monitor, it's going to, like, you're just going to see pixels on, on the monitor, right? So, yeah, like, just... This is brutal, guys. It's, it's blowing my mind up uh, how well these games are doing. And, and the emulator is doing such a good job at upscaling. Everything's nice. Now, the game is is running at 60 frames per second. It does skip a frame here and there. Like, I think frame pacing is slightly off. It does feel just a bit laggish. But it's I don't think it has to do with the frame rate. I just think that's how the game was made. And, and it is running on a faster system, right? So, you know, all the bits and stuff you know, regarding it. But uh, yeah, guys, so um, tune in for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be showing more PlayStation 3 games that I will be... Uh, look at this guy, it just blew off his knee. <laughs> the guy was hanging there, like, oh, my knee, my knee. And like, okay, don't worry, I'll just rip it off. More. So yeah, um, as I was saying, tomorrow we'll get on with the PlayStation 3 games, those games that I've been testing that haven't, that aren't working, you know, quite properly yet. And uh, maybe we'll show some games. They're just so much fun, you know? I might even do... Um, I might even just start streaming these games, you know, just to remember good old times. So guys, please enjoy the rest of the video, or, or whatever's left of it. 
and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. Have a good one.